Have you ever wondered what the lodge of somebody with 5,000 hours in the Hunter Call of the Wild looks like? Somebody who spends all their time playing this game not only for a living but also as a hobby and a way to support my family. Have you ever wondered what all of those hours going into Great One Grinding will make your lodge look like? Well, today you guys will see because this is a 5,000 hour Great One Trophy Lodge Tour. We've spent approximately 5,000 hours in the Hunter Call of the Wild and we have accumulated a lot of great ones in the process as that is the primary thing that I do during the live streams and we do stream pretty much every day so you can imagine that's a lot of hours put into just great one grinding. We're gonna real quickly scroll past all of the statistics from my great one grinds as it is very interesting to kind of see the different levels of like kill counts that we get throughout this grind. We've had 27,000 whitetail kills, we've had over 20,000 red deer kills, and we've had a few thousand moose kills as well, and also a few thousand bear kills, but sadly, no great one black bear. And now, without further ado, guys, I bring you the Great One Trophy Lodge Tour. This is going to be every single great one that we have, as well as some other random trophies to fill the extra plaques. We're also going to have all of our super rares in here, so this is a very loaded lodge. We have killed 27 great ones across our 5,000 hours, and a couple of them we got very recently as well. Now I'm going to try to go through this video as quickly as we can, but it might be a little bit difficult as pretty much every single trophy that you guys will see is going to be something pretty notable, as this is a lodge that is comprised of just our great one grinding trophies, as well as, like I said, a few placeholders. But we've got a lot of great ones as well as some super rares and some just really nice looking rares that we got during the grind. Honestly, out of everything in this mount, this guy right here in the front has got to be one of my favorite ones. As this is an incredibly high scoring version of the cluster rack. This guy is the only one that I've ever killed that has scored anywhere near this high. So it is uh, quite a special trophy. Right here, we have the biggest great one moose that we have ever killed, a scoring 257. It's very odd that the scores really aren't that high for the great one moose, but it's partially due to the way that they score them in Call of the Wild. They don't actually count the actual tine length. They just count the palm size as well as the number of tines. So it leads to some really weird scoring moose, and I, I've never been a big fan of that. I hope they change it eventually. Over here, we've got one of my favorite mounts because it's got a 50-50 rack Great One Whitetail that is 50% the rack that I have been grinding for. You guys may be wondering why we still grind Whitetail after having, I believe, 18 Great One Whitetail. It's because I don't have this rack right here as a uh, full rack. We just have a 50-50 that is mismatched. I really want to get a typical rack Great One, which is this antler right here close to us. And as we move over here, we've got ourselves a great one red deer scoring 268, as well as a few bear trophies from the bear grind and a couple of nice diamond whitetail. We've also got ourselves, wait, hold on. I just realized something. These uh, whitetail right here are actually very unique diamond whitetail because these racks normally score much higher, uh, but because these are both very close tip to tip spread, they end up scoring way lower than normal. In fact, this guy almost didn't even make it, which is uh, pretty wild as this is one of the big racks. We've also got a 239 scoring piebald whitetail deer from the time when we were doing herd management. We don't do it anymore, but for a while that was the primary way that we grinded. And honestly, after grinding normally once again, I honestly think there was no difference in terms of the amount of great ones you find. A lot of people suspect that it increases the great one spawns, but from what I've seen, I really don't think it does. I haven't seen anything that indicates it does, and uh, I feel like the only thing it ever did was increase the chances of diamonds. But this is another group of whitetail great ones right here. This is the Kinsko rack here on the end, as well as a couple cluster racks. This really wide one was our second great one that we ever killed. This one was taken by the uh, air rifle on Leighton Lakes. A really uh, good memory on the channel, and I'm sure most of you have seen that video at this point, as it is a very popular one. We also have a super rare red deer right here. Very mismatched and uneven. I was hoping to get an even big rack, but I never managed to get that for the albino. And then you guys may be wondering, is that a piebald whitetail? I thought those weren't a thing. Well, they're not. This was the very first great one we ever killed, as you can tell by the date, 2021 uh, 702. This guy was a common when we killed it, but because we killed it within the first week of the release of Rancho, 
whenever they did a hotfix to fix some lodge fur type issues, it kind of broke everything that we had killed during that time. And this is the case for pretty much every content creator out there. It ruined a lot of trophies that we had killed during that time for whitetail, coyote, and I believe one other species as well, though I can't remember them off the top of my head. This is another albino red deer over here. This guy is a very beautiful red deer once again, but it is mismatched. I just could not catch a break in terms of the albino super rares, though it's amazing to get an albino super rare. It was very sad that we couldn't get one that was actually even. This right here is probably one of the best mounts in the entire lodge. This is a super rare piebald with a super rare albino and a troll melanistic. This melanistic was the most sad moment I think I've ever had playing Call of the Wild. Many of you saw this live and a lot of you saw this in the YouTube short and the video that I put out as well and well, yeah, it was one of the saddest things we've ever had happen in Call of the Wild, though it's still a very beautiful trophy. And here we have another super rare red deer. We grinded red deer a lot during the like first phase of herd management where we were first kind of figuring it out. And uh, before we kind of knew the ultimate effects of using it, and it was pretty crazy to see the amount of super rare red deer that we were getting to pop up. And this guy right here was one of them. We also have a 300 scoring moose from the moose grind. And over here, the most interesting troll whitetail that we have killed during that grind. Look at this thing. Like this doesn't even look like it should have been a level three. The tip to tip spread is so close. And to be honest, if this thing had normal tip to tip spread, it probably would have been a 260s, maybe even 270s buck. Also, if you guys couldn't tell, I am still a little bit sick. I'm kind of recovering as of now. A uh, little bit of a raspy voice still, but I think we're pretty much back to normal. This right here is our most recent great one that we killed, uh, February 13th of 2023. This guy marked the end of a 1550 kill grind. And then uh, to the right of it, we have our three drop tine racks, each of them a little bit different. You can tell this one is a bit uneven. It's got two different versions of the drop tine rack. And then the one right here in the middle is kind of a more traditional looking one where it's got a wider tip to tip spread and is much more even. And this guy right here was the first drop tine rack we ever killed back in November of 2022 with a super soup with a super close tip to tip spread. This guy looks absolutely insane and it's probably my favorite drop tine rack that we've killed. I got to try and preserve my voice because we still got a lot to go through. Uh, this right here is a all super rare mount once again whitetail have definitely been the most kind to us with uh, an absurd amount of great ones as well as six super rares over the course of 27,000 kills and uh this albino that we see right here this actually was an initial spawn on rev on Tule coast uh when we tried to do a grind on there we didn't really ever stick to the grind but we did get this guy at a uh, zone that we had never gone to it's one of the nicest looking super rares i've ever killed and it's got the same rack that that troll melanistic had, but sadly, the mela didn't make it. Now we've got various rares in here as well, but we're not going to go over all of them as that would just make this take way too long. Uh, this guy is our biggest super rare red deer we ever killed and the only big rack one I ever managed to get. As you guys know, when we were doing herd management, we were getting a diamond like every 20 kills as it does heavily skew the uh, score estimates in your favor. So the average score is much higher. You get a lot more diamonds. It doesn't seem to affect great ones, but it certainly did get us a lot of super rares. So this guy was a product of that and he really is a stunning looking stag. We also have a couple more uh, cinnamon bears as well as a rare whitetail and a couple of piebald moose. Uh, we've got another piebald whitetail. We've got a few turkeys just randomly scattered. Uh, we got a few more diamond bears. We've got some rare whitetail, more rare whitetail, and uh, even more rare whitetail, and more rare whitetail because you know why not? And uh, over here we've got a very interesting mount. This is the tightest tip to tip spread troll that I've ever got. This was before they changed the score requirements for whitetail, and uh, to get one this low scoring was quite the feat. And now we get to the final part of the lodge. This is the upper section of the entrance area where we have all of our great one moose as well as our great one red deer. This guy right here was, I believe, a mid rack. I honestly can't remember. There is uh, very minimal differences between a lot of them. 
Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see these as we're very close, but those are a couple of the quad paddle rack moose as well as a great one red deer there and another great one red deer here. And then we've got our super rare melanistic diamond moose this is the only super rare moose that we got during the grind. But man, it is quite the stunning beast and one of my favorite trophies that I've ever killed in Call of the Wild. We also have another uh, red deer great one right here. One of the higher scoring ones that we have killed. And then over here, uh, we've got another one. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the Trophy Lodge tour. As I said, this is not the only lodge we have. As you guys know, we've got a regular lodge as well with all of our diamonds and rares. But this is where all of the great ones are currently sitting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe if you're brand new to the channel as it does help me out an absolute ton and it makes it so that you guys will see more of my content. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.